Cancer. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to be your June 2019 monthly love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And just as a reminder, Cancer, I'm reading for a lot of you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Absolutely feel free to watch your other signs. For you guys, I'm using Tarot Illuminati. Cancer, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. I really would love to have you guys follow me on Facebook. I do do some pretty cool shit on my Facebook page. So that would be awesome. Cancer. Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Love. June 2019 Spirit, please. Cancer. Not even looking at it. If it flips over, absolutely. Your card's are good. I am going to be doing a nine card spread for you guys. Okay, well that's nice. Ten of Pentacles. Big family, big money in that card, but love, that's a marriage card. Well, Justice, are we getting married? Libra. Interesting. The Eight of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Temperance. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sag, Libra, Capricorn with the Devil, Six of Swords, move it away from the Devil, awesome. Princess of Wands, Page of Wands. And the Hanged Man. You know, I just feel like things aren't going your way at the moment. Like there's definitely been some type of you know, unjust being treated unfairly by someone, you know, and you, and you, you feel trapped, like really imprisoned within a situation, cancer. It's like you don't see any way out. And I do feel like this has to do with a marriage with the Ten of Pentacles or headed toward marriage, you know, or a very committed relationship. But something is definitely out of balance within this relationship. You know, and it's like you feel powerless to change it. Like you feel like there's nothing you could do to change the situation, you know, to, to bring your partner around. You know, but with justice, I do feel like an apology. You know, so if things aren't, you know, aren't going very well in your marriage or your relationships, things are going to be made right and fair for you. 
and balanced out within the situation. You know, where you were you know, feeling completely trapped. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. The Queen of Pentacles. It could also be you if you have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in your chart. You know, temperance is definitely be patient. You know, temperance is sitting right next to this King of Pentacles. Definitely be patient. And let things happen naturally. You know, it could be that there's difficulties in your relationship or someone isn't coming around. And again, I feel like there is nothing you could do to bring this person around. There's nothing you could do to change this. Temperance. You know, you need to be understanding, patient. And this is also right in the center of this reading. You know, your angels, your spirit guides, guiding you on the path that you're meant to be on. That There's definitely hope within this situation. I feel like, you know, whatever, whatever is going on with this earth sign, you know, it could be your partner, your spouse, there definitely needs to be work put into the relationship with it, with definitely with this three of pentacles. You just need to be patient with the situation. You know, and this may not, not all be up to you. You know, this could be also something, you know, your partner needs to fix. But things will be made right. You know, definitely with justice, you know, definitely. You have some divine timing here at play. So patience is definitely required. There's a lot of hope and healing from this Eight of Swords. It is going to take some effort and hard work to make this relationship work. But again, things will be balanced out and, and, they, and it will be made right. You know, with the devil, for some of you, maybe a Capricorn, but, you know, some of you, something unhealthy going on within your relationship or your marriage. You know, it could be arguments, disagreements, jealousy for a small number of you, definitely. I am getting jealousy. Even though the King of Pentacles isn't in reverse, I am getting, I don't want to use the word abuse, but I mean, it, I mean, it could be, I mean, look at this devil card. You know, if you're dealing with a Capricorn man, I feel like, I'm going to be honest, Cancer, I feel like he sucks. I'm just saying. In, in a controlling way. This person feels controlling. <coughs> I'm sorry. But he does. But with that being said, there's definitely something changing. But there's definitely something challenging your relationship. You know, with the Six of Swords, though... You know, you're moving away from this. You know, this is moving away from shitty times to much more calmer times, peaceful times. You know, for some of you, maybe someone has been like harassing you. Someone, because this could be travel, and there is two people, three people in this card. Wow, this, I can't believe I'm getting this. This was probably for one of you. Like someone maybe has been harassing you and your partner. 
an X or something like that. But you're moving away. From, you know, this, you know, a difficult situation, a difficult person. And there is exciting news coming. You know, I almost feel like, you know, if this is a stalking situation, you know, where this person has been harassing you, there's news coming, especially if it's a Capricorn male, they're going to jail. I can't believe I'm saying this. But they are. Okay. Justice is upright. They're going to jail. It could even be a family member, a friend of the family, something. That definitely could be a possibility for one, for like one of you. But, you know, exciting communication. So I could even be hearing from someone from the past. But you're definitely starting down a new exciting path. You know, things are definitely are changing. You know, and a lot of you need that, especially you know, with the with the energy up here. Like you definitely have been treated unfairly, feeling trapped in this situation, relationship. You know, but you're definitely starting down an exciting new path. Let me get you guys some additional cards. Oh, wow. For some of you, look at that. Because, you know, stuck, stuck. Some of you, it's definitely marriage. Committed partner. Wow, and the four of wands. Jeepers, do we, do we even need to clarify? It's definitely a marriage. Partnership, a committed... any. It's contractual. Wow. All right, we're just going to get additional cards. Okay, Cancer, we're going to put them right here for each row. Now, if you follow me on Facebook Live, you know the card's got to pop for me. Jump something. Okay. Okay, the two of wands. Oh my God, this person is controlling. This, If you're that person that's being stalked by this nutcase, Aries Taurus, I would say Capricorn or Taurus, or he's got this person, this man has got this in his chart. I know it's not reversed, but th th this is bad. This card is probably the worst devil card I've ever, in any deck I have. And then the Queen of Swords. I'm, I'm shocked at the Emperor. That's got to be for somebody. Leave your comment. Let me know. Is that some... This person's going to jail. That there's some shit there. <clears throat> wow. Okay. For others of you. Now you could be dealing with an air sign. Libra Gemini Aquarius. You know, and it you know, this does really tie in with the, with the temperance card. No matter what the situation is, patience, waiting is important. 
You have to be patient and wait for someone to come around. <clears throat> wait for someone to communicate. And with the Emperor, a lot of you have you know, stability, security, abundance, success. It could also be you taking control of a situation. You know, so, you know, if you were feeling powerless, you know, the emperor, you're, you're absolutely not powerless. You, you just need to put in the work or someone else needs to take control of a situation, especially if you've been treated unfairly by someone. You know, for some, some of you, there could be people involved here. You have Earth, Burgators, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Justice card, you know, comes in. You know, you're being treated unfairly for some of you. You know, you, you need to might need to make decisions, choices, take control. There's a situation where, you know, there's more than one person that you're dealing with, you're definitely taking this sword and just somebody's going. Like, you know, those of you, if there's, you know, you're dating more than one person or you're married, there's definitely a need to gain control. And some of you are moving away from whatever was challenging your relationship but again with the page of wands there are big changes i never did look at the bottom of the deck now communic oh my god and the knight of wands the page of wands but the knight of wands listen this could happen very suddenly quickly too out of the blue this exciting news comes in and that was how i was exactly going to end it was that you have exciting passionate News coming in. And, well, and the King of Wands. After someone made a decision, because you have it here too. Amazing. <laughs> you go from single to not being single. Look at this, it's a whole story. Somebody decided to take a risk, a leap of faith, after making you wait. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole story. Let me get your Romance Angels card. But exciting stuff. Definitely exciting stuff for you guys. Okay. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. We just talked about that five minutes ago. Just some of you need to take it back and some of you just need to let it go with the flow because you're not powerless you just need to let go of the control issues that are probably within yourself and you are because you're cutting out shit people that just don't belong those of you that follow me for Facebook, I will see you guys Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. I'll be on Facebook a lot this week. Those of you that do not, I will see you guys back here with your um, midweek, your midweek weeklies. All right. I love you guys. Have a great week and I'll see you back. Great month. I'll see you back here soon. Take care. Bye.